it's Rabbit Insider here, and today I'm doing a video on grooming a rabbit. Enjoy! So first I'm going to start out with showing you the brushes that you'll need. So all of these brushes are good examples of brushes that you could use. So all four of these are good brushes. And um, this one here is by Four Paws, and um, it is like a bristle wire brush that catches all the dead fur and loose fur. And this one's a little bit different, and it is like a different brush. I don't know what it's actually used for, but um, it's not like made for catching dead furs. So next is the Furminator, and I just got this one. And this was about $45, so it was a really expensive brush, but it actually catches dead furs and um, other furs very well. And it's actually kind of like a de-shedder, so it's really nice to have that because my dog sheds a lot. And it actually works on rabbits, cats, all kinds of animals. And I also got this blue brush too. And um, these two came in a pack, which also had a, um, I think it was nail clippers and like a treat. So yeah. So next you'll need is some kind of nail clippers and uh, like a quick stop. So um, if you accidentally cut the uh, quick, which is like a um, blood vessel or blood um, vein in your rabbit's nail, that you can stop it so it doesn't keep bleeding. So that is um, not quick stop, but it's actually baking soda. So this works just as well. So this is great too. And um, these are just nail clippers that also came with the, gr the brushes. So next you can also get is this spray. And this spray is actually very good. And um, this worked very well with Snickers when he wasn't neutered because he did smell. And um, male rabbits do tend to smell. Um when they aren't neutered. So this is very useful, but once his uh, cage starts to smell and I don't have a uh, time to clean it, I will just spray this and it smells like uh, baby powder. So this is really recommended. And it's used for rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. So a good thing to have also is some treats. And I use these. Um, it's by Wild Harvest Veggie Puffers. And I know it's flipped around, so <laughs> it, you can't read it. But um, these are veggie puffers, and they're completely safe, and they're made for hamsters, guinea pigs, and rabbits. So, um, yeah, so these are good, too. And, uh, yeah, so you can use treats also. So that's it for now, and I'll get started with grooming your rabbit. So I've got Snickers here, and um, I'm just about ready to groom him. So I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to groom him and he's going to be a little jittery because he doesn't really like to be groomed so and this is just the four paws I'm grooming him with so I'm just going to show you how each brush um, has how much fur so it's going to keep him calm and stroke his head to make sure that he does feel calm and safe Now, I just brushed him last night, so it might not... Oh, well, it's okay. I'm just going to groom his head a little bit, because sometimes that sheds, but very softly. Make sure when you do groom him in, like, the belly area, I don't really recommend it, as long as um, your rabbit's not a long-haired rabbit, because... They do have long fur, and they might need to groom their belly, but yeah, so I wouldn't recommend that. So I have just groomed him with the wire brush here, and yeah, so next I'm going to show you with the Furminator how much fur that gets out. So, Oops, give me your Snickers, oh, sorry about that. He doesn't like grooming, like I said. Now, when grooming your rabbit, you make sure that you groom them every um, day if they're long-haired. Or, in the case of Snickers, I groom him every other day and clip his nails every few weeks. When they do start getting long, 
um, I do clip them. So every other week, probably, I'd say. But I just clip them, and this is just their good. Oh, I'm sorry, Snickers. Um, yeah, so. If you see how much fur, whoops. <laughs> if you see how much fur that, that got out, I mean, it's amazing compared to this brush. Yeah, so I actually groomed him shorter with this brush and longer with this brush and compared so yeah I really recommend the Furminator brush um because I mean it's just amazing I mean especially with dogs and long hair so yeah I'll be right back with Snickers alright guys I'm back with Snickers and I calmed him down a bit and gave him a treat so yeah hopefully he'll be more calm for me so next I'm going to use the spray and um, don't spray your rabbit directly on it just spray in your hand and just kind of rub it in so actually um, a good tip if you don't have brushes available to you just wet your hand with water and just stroke him and you'll pick up lots of fur from your hand and yeah so so just also, rabbits do shed three times a year, so um, it might depend more to others, like short-haired rabbits won't shed as much, and um, long-haired rabbits will, but um, yeah, so rabbits, all rabbits do shed, it's just their nature, so yeah. So it's good, like I said, to groom your rabbit about um, every day or even every other day, but, um, like I said, it's very important to them because if they do groom themselves and get a lot of fur, they can swallow that and actually get that stuck in their digestive system, which is horrible because it can get stuck in there and they would have very bad digestive problems and stop eating, stop pooping, and it'd be very bad. So, yeah. So, it's important to groom your rabbit. And, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope this was good for you and hopefully you've learned something so thank you for watching bye